Now welcome to another edition of Revealing God. I'm your host, Brother Victor. Today we talk about the Lord Spirit of life in Christ Jesus. What does this mean? We see this in Romans chapter 8, verse 2. It said, The law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. That means there's a law that sets you free from the law of sin and death, which the law of Moses could not do. So what does it really mean is we see it broken down into three parts. In Christ Jesus, the spirit of life and the law. So this three part means certain things which is very relevant for us to have. Number one is to understand that we need Jesus Christ. We need to born again. What's been in Christ is to be born again, having the spirit of Christ in you. That's what being born again is. Then number two, it talks about the spirit of life. We should talk about the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit as a believer, but many people have ignored it, but the Holy Spirit is required for us to make entirely. The Bible says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And I know the Holy Spirit leads lead you by the law. The law is means the set of instructions or commandments given unto you that have consequences, like law of gravity. If you obey it, you, you keep safe. But if you disobey it, you can probably leave this earth. So laws guide us and have consequences for good and for bad. So when we obey the voice of the Holy Spirit, we are keeping the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus. So if you're not born again, get born again, you can be born, you know, can have the Holy Spirit in your life, so that He can guide you and you can fulfill the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus and have eternal life. So God bless you. Thank you for your time.